your skin, Big Bandish. Hey guys, welcome back to the Acme channel, Peter Progress 23, aka Elizabeth here. Now, this video is going to be super, super awesome because I'm going to share with you my top five spot treatments because you know how annoying it is when you get like a random big ass pimple and you're like, why? Why me? Why now? But I've had like pimples for so long since year seven and that's probably like half of my life. I've been trialing an error so often with so many different products, home remedies, and finally I'm able to kind of narrow it down to the top five. My first one is benzoyl peroxide. This is a very controversial topical treatment because benzoyl peroxide is pretty much a topical treatment that could really dry out the skin and cause itchiness, a sense of burn sensations. The side effects can be quite like off-putting, but it's so effective in killing the bacteria that it will prevent further breakouts. What I would suggest is that if your skin is super, super sensitive, I would recommend you to start with the lowest, lowest percentage, which is 2.5%. Now, the Benzac brand is pretty cheap. I think I've got this for like $15 from my local drugstore, and it provides so much, right? The reason why I'm using 5% is because my skin is pretty much strong enough to use the 5%. Initially, my skin would dry up really quickly with 2.5, but now, like over time, it was able to adjust to the strength of the benzoyl peroxide, and I've only stuck with the 5%. I haven't gone higher. I get a lot of criticism when it comes to benzoyl peroxide because I know that people react differently. So my number one suggestion is to always patch test. Some people love benzoyl peroxide, some people hate benzoyl peroxide. Like it really depends on what your skin is like and you have to have faith. So when I first used benzoyl peroxide, I was like, whoa, this is freaking my skin out. It's all red. It's like, it felt like raw flesh wounds like that are open. And it's because I use way too much and I didn't even give my skin like time to adjust to the benzoyl peroxide. So the first time use, it was really disappointing and really like frightening. But the second time I used it, I used it in like small pea sized portions and I only dabbed where there were like problematic areas. After two weeks of using the 2.5 benzoyl peroxide, my skin was super, super clear. And it, like I saw massive improvements. I still had like hyperpigmentation, but the pimple itself flattened down. So it used to be huge, huge spots on my face, but it all flattened down. So you can use this as like in large areas and you can also spot treat using the benzoyl peroxide. So definitely, definitely try this out. It's my baby. Your skin will be sensitive to the sun, so make sure you use sunscreen. But my next one is definitely the acne treatment patch. Now, the Averil stickers are literally a godsend. Now, in the active ingredient of this is the salicylic acid 0.5%. And I think there's a little bit of tea tree oil, calendula, and rosehip seed oil. So it actually treats the pimple, it also hydrates the pimple, and it's just great because it sucks out all that gunk. So I'll just quickly show you what it looks like. Okay, so these are the circle ones. They're absolutely amazing. I actually have a spot here, if you can see, um, and it's and I kind of popped it to be honest because when I was washing my face, I was doing it quite aggressively. So I'm just taking it off this and applying that sticker to my pimple that I popped. And that's what it looks like. What it does is that the hydrocolloid band-aid or patch sucks out all that gunk and by the next day, so I do this at night, by, I don't know, three hours, you will see like all these white gunk being pulled out of your skin and that's pretty much the infection. Did you know that in order to heal your like open wounds or like popped pimples, you need to actually hydrate that area. If you dry it out when it's like an open wound, then it kills the collagen in your skin and elasticity, which makes it more prone to scarring. So these patches are super awesome for like opened, popped pimples. 
and the benzoyl peroxide is more for like surface pimples that are not open. Do not use the benzoyl peroxide on open wounds because that will kill the elasticity and collagen in your skin. Okay, so be very, very careful with how drying with the benzoyl peroxide. And also in the Avril patches, there are these large squares. Um, I don't like sticking large squares on my skin because I feel like that's too overpowering. It has like tea tree oil and that's quite strong for my skin. So then I would like cut it up into the desired shape that I want for my skin. Now, my next one is my absolute favorite one. So I've spoken about surface pimples. I've spoken about open popped pores. And the next one is about cystic acne. Now, cystic acne are pimples that are under the surface of the skin with no opening whatsoever. So the bacteria will definitely thrive under the skin, especially when layers and layers of dead skin cells pile up. So what you should do is apply the banished pumpkin mask. Now in this pumpkin mask, there is the real organic pumpkin fruit, organic blueberry fruit extract, organic sugar cane extract. We have the orange peel, we have the vitamin C, and we have a HA glycolic acid, which is naturally um, derived from the pumpkin. I actually have one cystic pimple underneath the skin here and one over here. And because it's so underneath the skin, sometimes tropical treatments such as the benzoyl peroxide or the sticker won't work at all because you're putting it on a layer of skin and there's no opening for it to suck out the gunk. So don't ever cover cysts. What I recommend is using the banished pumpkin mask because it has AHA in it, which is a glycolic acid that removes the first layer of the dead skin cells. So once you're, you're exfoliating chemically that area, the cyst could breathe. And once it could breathe, it's more likely that the cystic pimple will um, kind of surface. And once it surfaces, you can treat it by either using the pimple sticker or the benzoyl peroxide. So I'm just gonna dab a little in here, okay, and apply it on my cheek. Just here, yeah, here. So I have it right here, like that. And I wait like 10 minutes because it's doing its job by chemi chemically exfoliating my skin. So after you have it on for 15 minutes, you wash it off or you can just use a t tissue and wipe it off. So the next favorite spot treatment would definitely be the pore smasher. And it's really effective if you want to increase that blood circulation and calm down the inflammation underneath your skin. I've popped this in the fridge for like 30 minutes. So it's, oh, my hair looks so funny. <laughs> so here is where I have like a few spots that I wanna calm down. And it, oh my God, it feels so amazing. You just roll it like that. My sister was like, why don't you just use an ice pack? And I'm like, well, you can't really roll an ice pack on your face, can you? <laughs> my next favorite spot treatment is actually one of my favorites because it's a simple home remedy that you can do. In this cup, in this cute, very beautiful teacup that I got for my birthday is warm water mixed with a tablespoon of natural salt. So I just dip the cotton tip there and dab it on, sp on my spots. And I don't want to overdo it because salt can really, really dry out the skin and cause you to produce extra oil. So I only do this probably twice in a day. I don't excessively do it because you don't want to irritate your skin even more. So that's my top five spot treatments. And if you have any other suggestions, please pop it down in the comments below because I would love to read what works for you. So we can all share and you know share these tips that hopefully work for everybody else. So thank you so much for watching. You guys can find me on Pretty Progress 23 on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Definitely pop a message if you have any other questions. I'm sending you all my love and light. Mwah. There's a